I thought I'd do a video about Severe ME as it's the 8th of August, which is Severe ME Day. So, as you can see on this here, um, ME Association, where it's got many people here with photographs of suffering, really, that's, that's basically where it is. Um, and many of us who have had and been in this type of position, it's very, very difficult to live with. I thought this was interesting by ME International.org on their Sevilla ME. Sevilla ME is not in capitals the same as having a Sevilla episode of ME. And that is very true. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a really, really bad bout of, of ME where it was Sevilla. Um, it lasted probably about eight or nine days, um, and then I gradually got better. Where it was, um, it was where I could hardly get out of bed, um, you know, and had to crawl on the floor sometimes. So when you have, and when you've had severe ME, you can always go back to that. But obviously, like I'm not in that state now. But I put down when you see images and that, it's it's one thing. But what is it? like to actually feel feel what it is um obviously miranda um if you follow this channel we've uh, got a lot of videos on her superior ma and for the first four years um when i had it i was i was really extremely ill um so i'll put a few things down jot a few things down and it's feeling like death and feeling like a hundred year old, um, not taken seriously. Um, I think it might be taken a bit more seriously than it used to be. Maybe that's because of COVID coming into the equation now. Um, but the thing is, is that a lot of people say, well, if you can't see it on a test, you know, um, then maybe it doesn't exist. We can't see old age on a test either, but nobody doubts that. Um, things like using a bedpan or a commode, um, can't wash properly a lot of people have to use uh, wet wipes and, and things like that you can't think and, and basically more severe than the normal things like cognitive problems and, and fatigue um i think one or two other things need to be said as well is about it's not just the the illness it's what it, what it actually does for communication and for your relationships with everybody. Um, and I've got things like isolation. Um, I've got friends and family issues. And when anybody's got any illness, it's going to be extremely difficult. And some, even when those illnesses might be self-limiting. Um, and I've got, uh, and, I, and um, another thing I've got is loss of career um so if you work and i mean this was a very difficult thing for me where i couldn't work and a lot of times i think that defined me and another one i've put that's i was what i felt personally and i'm sure everybody else does as well when they're in this state is fear and one thing is is that especially when you've um you know you've like sort of just got me and, and it's a severe form you think what on earth is happening to my body because you probably come from quite a healthy background and um, you've got a full life and then you don't know what's happening in your body it just won't correspond to what you wanted to do and fear is a huge factor and it's even now i get really frightened and you know like so when i'm going through a really difficult time and like sort of all sorts of these things. And on the plus side, um, I thought I'd just end the video on a few positives that could happen out of the illness. You can get better. I'm not saying everybody does, and I'm not saying that oh, you, you can get better to where you were. You probably won't do that, but I did to a point. Um, other positives, I think, you, you know who your true friends are and um the, the people who love you really and you know it is hard for families and things like that and you do lose people you sometimes lose some of your family and and they don't understand but i think you can especially with the uh, social media and things like that um 
you can build really good relationships with people. Some of them are in the same situation as you are, but um, I think that's, you know, friends are very, very important in this in this type of uh, illness and that. But yeah, I thought I'll just just share my thoughts on that. But, uh, just because of the CBA, I mean, do it tomorrow when that when I'm doing this at the seventh. So anyway, thanks for watching.